new tonight at 10 o'clock. As college football spring practice gets underway, a Northwest Florida man who played football in college is part of a lawsuit against National Collegiate Athletic Association for failing to address head injuries he obtained while playing. News 5's Brian Clerkley is live in Northwest Florida. Brian, what does this man want people to know? Well, this man wants people to know how serious head injuries can be, and Pat Atkins used to play on football fields just like this one right here, and with equipment just like this. And now he's saying that he, got, he used his head as sort of a battering ram, and now he's seeing some issues in his adult life. Constantly, constantly. It was the practices, you know, and, uh, you know. I see stars a little bit. Pat Atkins was a football player over 40 years ago at the University of Wyoming and Illinois State. Now he's involved in a lawsuit against the NCAA. He says during practice he experienced a lot of head trauma and nothing was done. Now 40 years later, Atkins says he's experiencing memory loss and bizarre behavior. At the Mayo Clinic, uh, the neurologist there, said that uh, they did a PET scan and I've got frontal lobe damage, okay? He says the lawsuit is not for money. It's meant to spread awareness and give hope to younger players. I just want to see athletes taken better care of, you know, and their scholarships protected, you know, not jerked away if they get injured. Now, Atkins says his team of attorneys will be in court on his behalf in the next three to six months. And in case you were wondering, Atkins does have stage four lung, ca lung cancer, and he's in a, an assisted living facility. Live in Northwest Florida, I'm Brian Clerkley, News 5.